All right, back with the little bike check. Okay, so we just start from the top. So we're running SQ Lab grips to the integrated bar ends. So this is like an end handle bar clamp. So it works for like a nice little bit of a cool. comfy position. XT stoppers. Nice. So, you know, nice and powerful. Same as XT shifting with shifter. Thompson handlebars to a no-name stem because it does the job. It works. <laughs> um, so these mounts like came off a rack when I built my old set mirror in New York. So it's like a conduit hanger or something from home hardware when I was staying with a mate of mine in Brooklyn. It will slice the bottom of your kneecaps off, but you know, knee out. You haven't, you haven't done that yet. Oh no, I've got a scar from it already. So oh. <laughs> it sits there running a Satma, five rail, axle mounted. How, how were you able to get your hands on one of those? I heard my mate was, had possible. one. Your so I'm one? borrowing it. Okay. So I've got, everyone's seen my oversized Satma. Yeah. It's a bit too big, so I mate said, hey, do you want to swap for a little bit? He had one, ran it. It's a little, it's a little bent, but you know, still still does the job. Seems solid. Seems um, solid. Jump it on the ground and cold set it three times. What straps have you got here? Yeah. Uh, just grunt straps. I don't know, I've had these for ever, and they, just, they work. I mean, some of them are a little, a little, a little thin, but you know, as long as I don't lose an eye. Oh, uh, cool. These uh, are from Bunnings, right? Yeah. Nice. Grunt strap, this one was a ground score. Nice. <laughs> Um, Hope headset. So I've got a tapered head tube down to a straight 118. This is a Hope headset adapter under here. So it bangs oh, yeah. on like a crown race. Right. I thought it'd be a problem. Really wasn't. Um, one less truck. So that's from Omnium Cargo where my mate can go from who came down and gave me a sheet. So I've got a whole bunch of those. So early straggler fork was the closest fork I could find that matches the original axle to crown and rake, which was really lucky. So now it's, it's, the, it's a surly, so it's a curved rake. Yeah. So it's now the, uh, was it the curly? Curved surly, <laughs> which I'm like, yeah, I'm set. Um, basic mud guard, something I got for like, I think it was like 40 bucks or something. Cause you know, dry feet, it's winter down here. So it keeps your feet and toes nice, nice and nice. dry. Hubs, we have hope again, because you'll love a little tasty bit of hope. Sweet. To DT Swiss, I think they're like their gravel rims or something, something basic built by my boy Luke up North Victoria Cycles. Nice. The spokes are Alpine Supreme. So the top, top tier load rated four spokes to oh, wow, some okay. anodized bluish nipples. Yeah. Rotor on the front's just, I think it's like a $30 rotor. It's just something cheap. Sweet. We'll move to the back end. The Tamsin seat post, cause you know it's a nice, Squitchy, squitchy noise we all love. Um, Salsa seat post, power saddle for comfort. We have the Adoy sticker, so when I crash and go upside down, it says hope. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And we've got the, um, got some electrical tape along here, just stop some cable rub. We're going down to 36 five dirt bags, the crew I race for, work, I don't know, it's a weird relationship. But yeah, we've just got, there's just a crew we ride with and just hang out and do Sick. stuff. North Fitzroy drink bottles, drink bottle, it's a drink bottle. Lazane power cage, big fan of these bottle cages, nice. basic, affordable. Just running the one? Just the one. I'll run two during summer, but one, yeah. I'm not drinking that much and there's a lot of water spots. Going down to the bottom end, we've got some SRAM Apex cranks, which are absolutely, they're easy to service. Nice. You just bolt to pull them out. 42, looks like. 42 on the front to a pair of Bergtech flat pedals. Not sharp as pinions, but I've crashed them a couple times. So they're a little, a little bent, but they do the job. Shimano chain to XT rear mech. So nice. it wor worked really well till I dropped it and fucked it up. And uh, now I'm like, it shifts great, but not, not as well. Seems, not as Seems pretty straight. Uh, it's, it's, it's straight, straight enough. Yeah. Uh, the cassettes are lambda 46, yeah, I believe. That's massive. Yeah, the 46 on the back is great. I'd probably go something small on the front for longer distance rides, but right, right. it does the job. I've got the sliding dropout store on this, possibly as a fixed gear, as a single speed and as a geared bike. Nice, nice. Internal hub is something I've played around with the other era, but price. Yeah. Um, XT rear brake, Hope Pro 4 rear back. So nice, makes the nice v -v 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 noise. Wheels matching the front and rear. Um, rear mud guard. And oh, yeah. the tires we're running are some Schwabby, the green marathons, which green is down nice and upside down. Nice. But good tires, relatively reliable. Um, I've used marathons before, I thought they rolled like shit. They're 
the new ones they've made, so they yeah yeah they kind of they feel a little bit softer and more pliable, even running them as a harder pressure. Skin grows back, top tier protector. Yeah, Jamie's. This is yeah. I've had this one for a while. Jamie's stuff is top tier, and he doesn't make the top tier pads anymore. I keep pestering the crap out of him. So yo, Jamie, you get to see this video. Make more, please. <laughs> Also built it up. Yeah. It's there, racing team. What's Lockfoot? Brandon Lockfoot. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it for luck. It's a good sleeper whip. People look in, they go, yo, that, that's a very good sleeper whip. I've locked this out and seen a move for like three hours, came back and no one's touched it. So, yeah. Oh. Quick release skew is a triple B Allen key based one. Okay. People have always been a bit worried about, oh, do you worry about load rating it? I put heavy weight on the front of these skewers and they're, they bent them, but they're still fine. So no problem with the, the skewers oh, and their yeah, Allen okay. key, so I could perform it. Totally. Front and back. Yeah. And as you do, Gary does appreciate the little bomb cage bolts of spaces, which are my like, oh yeah. yeah like go. that's a nice, nice little, little, I found heaps and now I can't find any <laughs> spare ones, but yeah, it's a great bike, comfortable. Hell yeah. And it's real snappy, so you can like pop and do some wicked, be cool stuff. All right, we're gonna do a fit, fit check. check. So I got this from the back of an old bike shop, which okay. someone said it was hanging up there for years. It's a de-branded cask mojito. Yeah, they're really easy to just peel them off nice. just because it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more pro and fits monogon. I think it's a little bit big for me, but oh well. Nah, Underneath we like have a cap by Rune Cycling, my uh, former partner of mine bought. It's really cute. Ah, we sweet. still. It says no plan, no problem, and it's got a little backpacking. Yeah, super on cool graphics. And yeah, I was really yeah, a bit hesitant things. about washing it a couple times because you know they break the brim. But yeah. the plastic, I still reckon not sponsored. Just it's a better quality plastic because when you wash it, it doesn't break as easily. Right, it's really right. comfy, looks great, and yeah, it's nice Sweet. and comfy on the door. It's room on the side. I think it's this side. But yeah, that's well, cool. On the side, but yeah, on the back there. Wonderful. Nice. Glasses. Yeah. Obviously, we've got some newly and freshly scratched Oakley jawbreakers. So, because they're scratched, I don't look scratched. Oh, there, there's a little, there's a nice little chunk here. Uh -huh. where I dropped it on the Rafa Cafe floor, and they're like, oh no. And I'm like, oh no, it took a week <laughs> before I got scratched. Anyway, they stopped me from losing an eye. I had my previous pair of Oakley jawbreakers like snapped yeah. just in half. I dropped them so often because I'm careless with my glasses. I use jawbreakers because last time I had a pair of glasses, I was doing a bungee up or something when I was doing a winery tour as like a tour guide and the bungee had like snapped and right. it like, it came across and like gouged out the whole oh, time. Yeah. And so I'm like, I will wear glasses um, now because lucky. losing an eye is not really something I am passionate about at this point in tour. Down to the setup. So okay. I've got a, another grunt strap to a, sorry, Bose micro. I've got a nice Bose micro sport. The back snap broke last night and I was oh, gutted, yeah. but it still holds in place. Good battery life does work in Toronto at like negative 25, so Celsius, so not Fahrenheit or Fairlands or football fields or whatever you Americans use. <laughs> Grunt strap, which I got at Bunnings or our hardware shop for like, I was Bunnings. like seven bucks or so. I use these over Volets, they're cheaper and they're effectively the same. Skin grows back with a queer bike gang group I got from, yes. I forgot her name, but Instagram was Postcards of the North, super lovely. Skin grows back, Jamie's stuff's good. I got this from cool. someone I used to work with in there. Quad lock. Oh, yeah. With a pride badge to my phone with various notifications on it. Uh, Google Sweet. Pixel 6 8. Um, nice. Coming down, we've got the company I work for, Crisis Carriers. Moving across, we have a skin grows back with a um, bum bag with nice. my keys, sports, pens, wallet again. And so this is a zipper on the top. We've got just a key ring to my key. In here we have another phone because apparently I'm a drug dealer with um, okay. Rossi who's 415 King as my phone background. <laughs> um, so this is my old phone just to separate right. work phone from personal phone. Battery pack again, my, pa you, my you previous partner which was hilarious. You use that every, every day? Yeah, it's just Jack rebranded. I usually get Signet because I've had really good luck with their stuff but this works. Okay. Um, Signet armored cable because I break cables every three months, I think. Yeah. I have to replace cables. So if anyone does know any good branded for good cables, is will let me know. Uh, belt. What kind of um, belt is that? So this is a vegan biothane belt. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Here's my bike. Uh, okay. Here's my it's bike. Okay. Lead me astray. Their stuff's really great. And as I go, I want to make a belt just for like another one. And sweet. I've had it for ages. Trash bag messenger belt, whatever. I don't know. It's something. To oh, another yeah. skin rose black lock holster, it's a lock holster, it works. Carrying a spicy one of these ones for opening packages, which I shouldn't be whipping out in public, but you know, anyway. No one's pulled me up on it yet, so let's hope for the best. Shorts are uh, crew cycling. Okay. I've used these on and off for a while with 
things in my Patagonia and these sort of. You wear bibs on. Oh yeah, that, great. Yeah. Jaws underneath depends on the day. Great, it fits a nice bike lock in the Sweet. back pocket and my pockets fill all my snacks. Underneath I've got some Under Armour leggings or something. I bought them ages ago. Ethically, Sweet. Under Armour is not great, but you know, it does what I need to some. We'll just wear knee nice. high ski socks because when it's too hot, you pull it down. When it's too cold, you pull them up. Easy. It's a look. And then <laughs> I've got some Shimano flat pedal boots I got. A mate of mine had, he said, yo, what size shoe are you? I said, yeah, I've got an old one. Do you want to try them? Great. And I'm like, sweet. We'll yeah. work on some fun bit. Backpack. Trash bag, messenger bag. It's the Vortex, so the biggest one he makes. Wow. Andy stuff is... Where's that Where's that made? Uh, Minneapolis. Andy, oh, wow, hands cool. down, is a fucking wonderful dude. He hooked me up when I first got it. I was a bit hesitant. He's like, yo, I'll throw in all the straps, the cargo straps, tie down steps Yeah, it looks awesome. Customing. It's all the patches that were done by myself. It's got full A cab. You, obviously, lovely Gary. Thank you for seeing <laughs> that through. Spray bike, standard courier, lovely. Company I've worked for, Slow Squad. Shouts couriers in Montreal, dirt bags. Giddy up courier in Harrison, Harrisonburg, I think they're near DC. Lovely crew, wonderful crew, uh, videos they make, they're hilarious. New York City, Velo. Velo. Um, NAC when I was, that's, that's a NAC CMWC patch I got when I was over there. Oh, that's I got pretty cool. Kurt Cycling, Raccoon at a mate of mine game because we love trash pandas. Support sex workers because it's the hardest job. <laughs> My Express and Career Company out of Denmark. Nice. Wonderful crew, they all have Omniums, they're a rad bunch of people. Commuter Cycles, again, rad company that also has a whole bunch of obscure bike packing stuff. Stuff, yeah, yeah. beautiful. Jambi Jambi, Georgia based in Sydney, is fucking hilarious and great person with the kook energy, which I found at home, and I'm like, yo, we love monster energy <laughs> drink. Nice. Another set Macargo patch, which I don't oh, know. Oh, wow, I, I didn't know they made patches. Yeah, they made patches. I think it was a small run of stuff, and right. a mate of mine found it. He's like, yo, I have some in an old bag. Do you want one? I'm like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. To buy one back, who usually makes the orange vest I always wear, which I am not always wearing. <laughs> uh, Momentum Messenger, he's one of their old merch. Cool. Great crew. Oh, God, oh. Yeah, it's a really big pocket, so that's my tie downs and i would open them up, but it's no, just it's tie-downs, yeah, yeah, yeah. clips. The best pump in the world is a Toe Peak Mountain Morph. I've had this for like eight, nine years, and nice. the pump, it works. Various tools and jangly bits and inner tubes, which everyone's seen. Hell yeah. And we'll open the main one, and then... Can I see the back of the backpack? Is it like a strap spot? Oh, the strap's there. Oh, yeah. So it's all a bit of camo with orange because I need to be invisible, but the orange. Oh, yeah, so we'll show one of the old school ones that I know some of the veteran me messengers. So we've got... What is that? Oh, so it's an old school clipboard, which has... Wow. Which is just... You still use that or not really? Um, as an emergency, we don't ever, but it's more just glorified like... Money. Uh, oh, US, US, there's US a US currency <laughs> in there and like yeah. sticker storage. And, Manifest, not that I race alley cats much anymore because there's none on. But yeah, it just works. It's a bunch of stickers, a bunch of crew companies, and oh yeah, I love. it just becomes a glorified sticker bombing thing. We'll open the main. So I won't pop this out open all the way, but yeah, no, it's fine. Just wow. we have a big bag with dude, that's massive. Pattern straps. We'll must wear switch poly pro poly poly pro fusion hoodie. I've had this yeah. for like four years, and it's. Fragrant, but um, I do wash it. It works, it works. But phenomenal hoodie, good in between layer. So, what I'm wearing. Ando at uh, over in New York, Slow Squad with the A cab bandana. Runs a title to their opinion. That's mine. I'm pretty sure it's well known. But anyway, awesome. A cab, good neck buff. We have the Uniqlo rain jacket. Wow, you carry a lot of stuff. I carry way too yeah. much stuff. Um, Unicoi rain jacket, rain jacket, future drive. I guess you need it, right? If it rains then. Oh, when, when, when the unit's snowing. Dude, snow that's rain. so big. And inside there, I've got some, just some cheap blinky lights. Hell yeah. yeah. That's relatively, more or less, depending on the weather, I'll pack a little bit more in the way of layers, but. Awesome, that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, no problem at all. Yes, yeah, it's it sick to see that. Nice to see a nice pencil. Oh yeah. And then we'll do a. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Speak, ejecto speaker It didn't break, so that's oh, good. No, it's fine, I've got this so many times. Pretty sure I'm really, really... That was not staged. <laughs> awesome, how yeah, dude? All right, big shout out to Cat Bikes. Appreciate you doing that. And yeah, if you have any questions for him, leave them in the comments. 
Uh, hope you like this. If you want more kind of stuff like this, let us know as well. And I will, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.